Wow, so powerful. Man, you just broke that down. Like, <laughs> wow. You know, this quarantine itself has like raised consciousness around the globe and it's like accelerating all of our internal growth, um, spiritually, mentally, physically, in all areas. But you talk about the conscious to subconscious to unconscious mind. So, you know, can you, can you, can you explain that and how that leads to like that quantum growth? Yeah, so that's the continuum that I started working with to understand how do we expand, how do we accelerate, how do we improve. The yeah. first thing is to understand the conscious is reliant upon our cellular memory. And the cellular memory is really stupid. It's a short-term memory, so it needs repetition. Mm -hmm. So if you think, you know, running a marathon on Saturdays is going to affect your life if that's all you do, you're much better running two miles a day than running a marathon on Saturday. I promise you. Because of the way the cellular memory works, it's taking the input every day and it needs to be reminded the next day and the next day in order for it to communicate with your subconscious. So 10,000 new data inputs or thoughts a day, they're determinative upon a stupid senses, your eyes, your ears, your nose, your mouth, and your touch. They are not accurate. And then it relies on your memory. That's not accurate. So through the repetition, you start getting stable data. That stable data goes to the subconscious, mm -hmm. which now has about 40,000 of these intermediary thoughts. And the more you access them, the more impact it has on two things. One, the neural pathways that are formed. So those are habits or disciplines or efficiencies. I like to call it habits and disciplines efficiencies. And then that's also determined on what you call a memory, the unconscious competency. And why I say it's important is you have to look at least four generations back to your great grandparents, grandparents, and parents. Because some people that don't understand this consistent behavior would say, mm. oh, you know, I, I smoke. How come I can't quit smoking after 21 days? Why do I still feel like I want it? And then other people can quit smoking in one day. Yeah. It's because genetically you're programmed, right? That's why alcoholics have alcoholic children's more uh, percentage-wise than not. So if you know your genetics, you know that it's gonna take you longer or less time, more focus or less focus in order to effectuate the continuum. Why the continuum is so important though is if you keep accessing the right subconscious thoughts, you actually can change your DNA. There's an epigenetic layer of the DNA that activates these quantum memories that you have, these really, really long-term memories. Now scientists can show that it's four generations. I believe it's like lifetimes. Like right, millions. right, 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 yeah. Yeah, I really believe that. So for me, I look at my personality traits and how they change, my characteristics, how they change, my uh, obsessions and addictions, how they change. And that creates a frequency. And that frequency is your vibration. That's what makes people different, even on social media. I use the same strategy, you know, using mentors like you and Aubrey and Gary and all my friends. What I did was study all of you because you were in the game before me and you each had your own frequency, but you were consistent with it. And you yeah. realize, okay, I'm sending the signal out to a specific spectrum. Now, the, the biggest spectrum are people that try to copycat, uh, you know, TikTok has a very wide spectrum. So you don't care. I call it a lower vibration. It's like the Kardashian vibration. 87% of the people are Tiger King fans because they like to watch train wrecks, right? Yeah. Well, Gerard yeah. Adams and Aubrey Marcus and Dave Meltzer and Gary Vaynerchuk, we're not into the negative energy. We're not asking mm -hmm. you to walk off a cliff. We're trying to inspire you to be better expand. So you have a smaller spectrum. But the cool thing about social media, right, is small spectrum was I was a kid was your golf group, your card game, your church group. Right. Nowadays, a small spectrum could be, you know, that lady that paints nails or opens gifts on the internet, she'll get, you know, 20 million people. That's a yeah. small spectrum compared to 4.2 billion. And everybody can make a major impact on this collective consciousness. And that's why I set my goal mm -hmm. to impact a thousand people like you, Gerard, to yeah. impact a thousand, to impact a thousand, thousand times a thousand is a million million times a thousand is a billion. If I could teach you how to teach other people to be happy, using yeah. like gratitude, forgiveness, accountability, and inspiration, my life will yeah. be set. I'll create this happiness collective energy. Right. Wow, so powerful. Man, you just broke that down. Like, <laughs> wow. Years, so man. Cool, man. So, so dope. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to like rewatch all of that, but thank you so much for breaking that down. It's so powerful. I completely agree with you.